Well, we're seeing the tail end of it there with that Arctic blast now setting its sights on the Northeast and New England today. That storm's already blamed for several problems across the Midwest. Dan Edwards is live to continue our wintry blast team coverage. Dan, what's the latest? Hey, Holly, welcome back. And uh, if you have a flight this morning out of Dayton International, well, definitely check with your airline as a couple of flights have been delayed, even to cancel, as Carrie's been telling us about this morning. After creating headaches in the nation's midsection over the weekend, the latest wintry blast is now bearing down on the Northeast, part of a massive system that's affecting half our country. Yesterday, that same system was in Wisconsin, caused this massive pileup in whiteout conditions that shut down Interstate 94. That system also impacted parts of Kentucky as ice made it nearly impossible to drive. It wasn't much better flying as all across the country weather forced cancellations or delays. More than 3,000 flights, 500 in Dallas, Fort Worth alone due to that ice. But it was a combination of ice and snow that caused this roof to collapse and power lines to snap as thousands of customers remain without power in some areas that are experiencing bitterly cold temperatures, some 20 degrees below average. And there's a concern that the ice and snow could cause even more outages for several more days. In Baltimore, icy conditions made it tough for fans at the uh, Vikings-Ravens game. A wild weekend of weather, no doubt, with the official start of winter less than two weeks away, making travel very difficult. It was bad, and, like you could barely see out the road. I could deal with snow all day long, but when it comes to freezing rain, I don't even want to touch it. Out, it is the equalizer indeed. And the National Weather Service says freezing rain could cause problems for East Coast commuters this morning who are urged to stay off the roads. And in some areas, officials are calling for the possibility of a historic ice event. Reporting live, Dan Edwards, 2 News Today, working for you.